to create a drop stitch pattern um, you will need any multiple pegs really works I am going to demonstrate with eight pegs and over here I have already a few rows started but I am going to start I'm going to demonstrate row one to row four of the stitch pattern so let's begin with row one which calls for knit one yarn over three so simply go to the first peg and knit it to create the yarn over three times simply e-wrap the peg three times now let's go to the next peg knit it yarn over three times around that peg let's repeat the same process with the next peg and you continue in this method all the way to the last peg turn it one yarn over three times knit one yarn over three times two three one yarn over three two three knit one yarn over three two three have reached my last peg and I do the same thing of knit one yarn over three two three now the next row of the stitch pattern calls for a purl one and drop all the yarn overs on the peg what I like to do I bring that working yarn to the bottom of the peg I purl it I hold down to that loop with my fingers and then I take the top three loops off and I go back and I take that last one off and put the new loop that I made and I place it on the peg. I tug on the working yarn. Let's see that again. I purl the last stitch. I hold on to that little loop I made and then I go back and I take the top three loops off. Those are the three yarn overs and then the, the stitch. And I leave the loop that I created on the peg. So that's one method. Another way of doing it is to simply take the three top loops off, so the three yarn overs, you take them off, and you leave the bottom loop on the peg. Now you purl that loop. Let's see that again. You take the top three off, now you purl the remaining loop. So each peg has four loops, correct? One, two, three, four. You purl the last one. That's the first method I show you. Take the top three loops off, then go back and take that last one off. The other method that I showed you, take the loops off first, then purl the peg. So whichever method you choose, both of them work. So whichever one is easier for you, take the top three off, purl the peg, take the top three off, purl the peg. And that completes row two of the stitch pattern. Row three calls for a knit row, so simply go ahead and knit the row all the way to the end. Head and knit one, two, nice and simple. Row four of the stitch pattern calls for purl so simply take the working yarn and purl the stitches back those four rows constitute the drop stitch pattern repeat them as often as you want so that you're 
scarf for your knitted item reaches the desired length. And that was creating the drop stitch pattern. When you have knit them, simply pull on the working pattern down and you will see the nice drop stitches. They're elongated. That is the drop stitch. <laughs>